Welcome back to my channel. Today we have to talk about Pink Panda, another altcoin slash meme coin that has gotten a lot of buzz, at least around my channel. I received so many comments on it when I did my video on Ethereum Max, and I don't know if these are scammers or not, but like I've gotten one. Thanks for the vid. Hey man, what do you think of Pink Panda? I don't downloaded their app on my phone the other day, and I'm curious what you think of it. And that's just one of them. Bro, do yourself and your subscribers a huge favor and look into Pink Panda. If you are hype about the coin you're reviewing, which was Ethereum Max, you're going to have a heart attack about Pink Panda. Hopefully not, lol, but it'll be ecstatic. Usually, I mean, when, when it's a scammer, they write something like, join my telegram or whatever, or like, uh, you know, contact this number and they try to scam you. But like, this is like great content. Would love to see a Pink Panda video if you have time to check them out. Mobile app is out, and I think the leveraged mobile uh, decentralized exchange they are building is going to be super huge for, I think it's like a Binance something uh, thing trading. And we're going to be looking into all of that. Not only that, people are even more hype on other comments. Pink Panda DeFi is as legit legitimate and incredible as it gets. CEO is doxxed. Pink Panda tattoo on his arm. LP locked, whatever. And and this this guy has his username, Panda Josh. Okay, and you know, this guy has a Pink Panda, great stuff, how about checking out Pink Panda, really active community. So there's a lot of, I mean, I just had to go check out this coin just because of the amount of comments uh, about Pink Panda. So that is what we're going to talk about today, the huge potential that Pink Panda has. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. My name is Adam, and on this channel, we talk about stocks, finance, and my portfolio reveal from time to time. I've been quite successful over the past year, growing my portfolio over 60%. Uh, and today, we're going to be going over Pink Panda, which fits into the altcoin meme coin type cryptocurrency space. And this is exactly what is popular nowadays, is investing in these sort of meme coins. Uh, Pink Panda, I like more than I like Ethereum Max, the recent altcoin video that I did. Uh, the main reason being it's donations to charity, uh, and, and it seems like they're just like more conscious, and it's less of, uh, it's definitely still a hype coin, but less of a hype coin than Emacs, which uh, they had a lot of athletes, and Kim Kardashian, for example, promote it, um, and, and they pay them quite a bit of money to promote their coin, okay? So... What is Pink Panda? Pink Panda is a winning utility token powering the development of next-gen crypto finance tools, uh, five times leverage, decentralized exchange for BSC. I actually had to search up what, what these terms mean. So uh, DEX is decentralized exchanges, are a type of cryptocurrency exchange which allows for direct peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency transactions to take place online. And then BSC is Binance Smart Chain, and it's uh, a blockchain that runs in parallel to the Binance coin. Unlike Binance Chain, BSC boasts smart contract functionality and compatibility with Ethereum virtual machines. So uh, that's what Binance Smart Chain is. And apparently this is a huge ad uh, for Pink Panda Coin and part of why there's a lot of hype on it. Binance, by the way, just got regulated out of the UK. It's not allowed to trade there uh, legally, I think. And so a lot of people, I think, are going to Coinbase. But Binance is still one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. Um, so yeah, that's Pink Panda, and I'm also wearing my pink hat uh, to represent Pink Panda. And what I really like about this project is for each transaction, I believe you have to pay a 10% fee, and 5% of that fee goes towards um, um, cancer research or, or cancer societies um, or cancer communities and stuff like that. So that's what I really love about Pink Panda. You're, when you buy the coin, you're contributing to charity, basically. So... Uh, they have here, I think this is one quadrillion, so this is 100,000, if there was a one here, that's 1 million, 10 million, 100 million, uh, that would be uh, 1 trillion, 10 trillion, 100 trillion, and then I think that's, actually, hold on, so that's 100,000, 1 million, 10 million, 100 million, 1 trillion goes after 1 million, I think, uh, 10 trillion, 100 tr trillion, and then I don't know what this is. So like over 100 trillion uh, coins. So I think that's like one quadrillion to total token supply. Apparently they already burned 50%, uh, which I mean, if maybe then the to token supply was uh, two quadrillion and they already burned 50% or one quadrillion is already after they burned 50%. But regardless of how much they burned, the thing that gets me always with these 
meme coins is that the price is so incredibly low you can't even tell like what's going on here so i'll just like minimize this for a second so it started out at like point i think there's eight zeros in front of that one there uh so eight zeros after the decimal place it, you would have 10 x your money because it went to like uh seven zeros after the decimal place and that would have been a huge move upwards if you sold at the top but of course it's really hard to time it right at the beginning and right at the top uh, but then since then it still is if you if you think that that's like a one there where it is currently trading i think is about like 20 to 30 percent above where the initial price was but a lot of people of course uh weren't able to buy it at the initial price so i I'm, I'm feeling that a lot of people are down especially if they bought at this hype phase and you can see that this sort of pattern where there's just like market exuberance there's like 50 candles in a row here that are green uh then of course it generally is followed by a drop and with meme coins it's mainly about what the next person is willing to pay for okay it, it, you know the pink panda has no fundamental value uh its only value is again what the person next to you the you know the other trading joe that's that's trading pink panda is willing to pay for their coin so it is really determined uh based off of the prices determined based off of mainly popularity uh and you know how far you can get onto the meme cycle speaking of which uh, they even pink panda has like a wall of memes um and i mean like they're doing everything right i think in terms of trying to increase the hype of their projects but let's just again look at the tokenomics and what we're building first so 50 percent was already burned 10 percent transaction tax five percent locked into liquidity pool and five percent is airdrop to token holders so what they're doing is building a mobile platform where you can buy and sell pink panda uh, and 5% locked in the liquidity pool and 5% is is redistributed. So think of it as like um, a, a dividend of a stock. Okay, so uh, yeah, they're rewarding shareholders for just holding the token. 5% uh, dev wallet and then 5% charity and marketing, marketing wallet. 20% uh, token presale and 20% token initial liquidity. So again, tokenomics, not bad. I think what makes them stand out is um is of course their donations to charity because a lot of other coins have this sort of you know transaction tax and where they where they redistribute the existing uh shareholders the the tokens that were sold or like you know 10 percent of them so um add pink pandas to your feed to your daily dose of positivity pink pandas are the ultimate community of positive thinkers future doers and change makers we all want to make the world a better place to me this sounds like the the next step in um uh, in people who want to invest in companies they're a lot they're very oriented towards helping the cause and and doing something good for a global community think of like esg concerns are becoming ever more important when investing in stocks right a lot of people don't want to invest in oil now because of the environmental concerns so you know this is why someone would, would invest in pink panda if they're more uh, conscious on environmental sustainability uh and and um and community concerns okay so at pink panda we care about giving back to the community and the broader world we aspire to build a company that takes into account more than just shareholder profit in line with this we have our first donation of a thousand dollars to the american cancer society uh and again another donation to found the co2 geo2 foundation for lung cancer uh and so here they actually have a video where uh, the founder here, his name is Adam, just like me, so he must be awesome, uh, donates money to to the society. So I think that's really cool. Um, I, I think that's, you know, pretty impressive. And I definitely think this is what makes it unique and what, what attracts people to Pink Panda. Um, and it seems like a very strong and very, very tight knit community. I mean, like when I released that Emacs video, like the Pink Panda people were all over that. Uh, and was, were telling me to do a video about Pink Panda, so here I am. So Adam, uh, the founder, uh, Carlton, the proudly doxxed founder of Pink Panda Finance. I've been on the cutting edge of tech and business for over 20 years in a variety of consulting, executive, and entrepreneur roles. I see two opportunities here with massive potential, a powerful margin-enabled um, decentralized exchange, is it, yeah, decentralized exchange on the Binance uh, smart chain, okay? and harnessing a community coins for charitable causes. And so I'm, I'm asking you, what does it mean a powerful margin enabled decentralized exchange on the Binance uh, smart chain? Does that mean that you're able to buy more Pink Panda than you currently have money? 
Uh, I, I don't necessarily understand how that margin works. I haven't fully read the white paper, but please, someone in the comments, please explain to me what uh, this margin enabled means. That, that's also apparently a huge plus to uh, Pink Panda Coin. So I think most of us have been touched by cancer at some point in our lives. And so this is why uh, they have the car, car, color pink. It represents uh, sort of cancer in the fight against cancer. So, um, so what happened for myself, losing my best friend when he was 30 had a profound effect on my life. And then more recently, my mother passed from pancreatic cancer in 2019. Wow, I feel sorry for this guy. Um, I swore to myself two years ago that I would take my life experiences in business and tech and never again devote myself to something that wasn't harnessing the power of community, charity, and positivity. So very, very cool message. So I rounded up some of the best crypto de developers and marketers in the world and through many sleepless nights, we put together the concept of Pink Panda Finance. We wanted a truly revolutionary coin that not only rewards its adopters, but brings together the best of crypto. It is unruggable yield generating and brings cutting edge trading concepts pioneered in other chains to, to the Binance uh, chain and brings a rewards to a highly participatory community that chooses to engage in something positive. So uh, again, I like how they're very much at the forefront of making a positive change. Um, and again, it goes over uh, what the um, what the tokenomics is. And what unruggable means is that like uh, it will always exist and like you won't ever end up with zero dollars, even if you might lose a lot of your profit because we have renounced ownership of the contract and locked the funds in the liquidity pool. So the token is rug proof because it has no owner. It will exist forever on the Binance Smart Chain unaltered. So um, so yeah, like it won't go nowhere. It just might go very close to zero, I think is what they're saying there. Okay, so overall, like what are my thoughts on, on Pink Panda? I think it's a really cool concept. I really like how they're donating to uh, cancer research and the cancer societies. Um, will I be investing in it? Not yet. I think I'll have to do a lot more research. Right now, I'm invested in Ethereum and I bought especially heavy on the dip there. Uh, and so, I, I mean, I, I definitely need to do more research. I am just being more of a conservative investor, skeptical of these coins that have like quadrillions of supply coins and uh, they, they trade for like, you know, six or seven or eight zeros in front of the, after the decimal place. Uh, so yeah, I really have to think about this one. I think the future is very promising. Good for you guys for supporting such a great cause. Uh, and I definitely appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, and uh, yeah, love you all. Feel free to check out my latest videos as well as the free Discord down in the link below, um, as well as if you'd like to join the channel and support me in my journey. Uh, you can do that for about like two and a half dollars every month. So peace, guys. Take care. Love you.